so we are on a little lake vacation in Minnesota. We're on Elysian, about 50-60 miles southwest of Minneapolis right now. So I thought I would fire up my radio and I happen to have a little balcony here so I just threw everything together. Looks like rain is coming in. Here's what I did. This house is amazing. This house was built for like many guests. It has nine bedrooms. And I'm going to do a virtual tour using a 360 camera. Um, <laughs> anyway, it's getting dark. Sorry if the light's bad. I'm on my side of the house, the balcony. Take a look around. So, I threw my 88-foot HFEDS antenna and it's sagging. And I thought I could pull it tighter than I could. And I got to this point right here. I got to this point and I realized... I don't have a way to pull it tighter. I'm a little afraid to tie it to that because I don't want that coming off. You know, this isn't my house or my rental. I just checked band conditions and they were terrible. <laughs> I can't hear anyone out there even though it's a Sunday night. I thought somebody would be out there, but this is what I'm dealing with at the moment. So it's been a rough week for ham radio. Uh, it's Tuesday now. We've got this house for a week and the problem is it's been cloudy and rainy all week. So I haven't had a chance to set up. Very well. We had this pontoon boat that I was going to take the ham radio out and try to operate, but the boat is very terrible. It didn't have a didn't have a cover over it, and it actually died on us in the middle of the lake. So we we took it out to go fishing today, me and this um, one of my cousins, and we went out and we got about right there, and it just died. We couldn't get it to start, so it we just let it drift into the wind, and then we found a dock on the other side, an empty dock, and we landed there, and then we walked to the sidewalk, and we called, and then they drove around and got us and. Alright, so the pontoon's not worked. Okay, what I'm going to do... I decided not to do that long wire from this because it's a little kludgy. I didn't want to come up here and tie to that and try and tighten it, you know, and pull real hard on that. I'm just going to use this tower. I'm glad I brought this. Uh, I don't know how long this is. MFJ1910. I don't like these very much, really, because they're so flimsy at the top. But it works well in this situation. I'm going to try to strap it to the side here and then just run a 29 foot uh, pack tenant and see what happens. Okay, so I have a free minute on my little vacation, I got a little obsessed with fishing this weekend. I just caught a northern pike tonight for the first time ever off our dock over here. And it wasn't big, but I'm pretty proud of that. Um, just because you know, I've been working at it and working at it, I kind of got a little obsessed with fishing. I've been trying all kinds of lures, but what's interesting about the Minnesota Lake, because I grew up in Oklahoma and we had so little variety. Anyway, I got a little obsessed with fishing this weekend. <laughs> Haven't done much radio. I just kind of like, oh, fishing. You know, it's so much like ham radio. Fishing is a lot like ham radio. Ham radio is like fishing, I should say. All right, we're going to try to make a contact. The bands have been bad this week also. So I'm in my little room here. I thought I would sneak away. See what's up. Let's go to 40 meters and tune up. I've been a little disappointed with this MFJ 939 because it seems like 1.5 is very often the best you can get. Watch this. So I'm going to do hold the key down on FM for a carrier. See, it got a little bit below 1.5. That's good, but I like to see it go all the way to the bottom. But anyway, I think we should be okay here. Let's see what happens. CQ, 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 November 9, Yankee Oscar calling CQ, CQ, N9YO, CQ, CQ from Minnesota. So I've got my little paddle here, which I'm probably going to have to go to C CW here in a second. Got my little notepad. And here's my radio station. Vertical Pactenna. Vertical Pactenna. 
That was a little weird. I uh, He talked to me and he was getting very quiet. And I said goodbye in 7-3, but then he just disappeared. So I wonder if the band just dropped out completely. I forgot. I heard that this is a uh, field day weekend. I didn't even know it. I can't uh, participate. I've got too many things going on. This was the week we planned for our vacation with a family. It's like a family reunion thing they do every two years. But facing between letters. Terrible spacing between letters. Can't, I don't understand you. See what happens when we call a C, CQ. Okay, I think I'm gonna call it a night. I'm gonna charge up my battery and I'm gonna do a Parks on the Air tomorrow. And I had a real nice long queue, so with this guy um, and I'm pretty happy you know I made a made a contact I wasn't trying that hard I've been so busy this week let's do a poda tomorrow and uh, we got to get all ready for that